Hi everyone, and welcome back to your real conversation video lesson with me, your teacher, Chris. It's great to meet you if you're a new student here, and it's awesome to have my returning students come back to have another conversation with me. So today we have a really cool topic. And well, for me, it's really cool. I hope it's really cool for you too. Uh, we're going to talk about space up there, space. And I, I love science. I think it's very fascinating and interesting. So it's going to be interesting for me, <laughs> but we'll try and have a conversation about that. So if you are new here, here is how this conversation lesson works. First, I will ask you the question and I will give you some time to answer me back. And then after that time, we'll go to the next question. And when we've asked all of the questions, I will give you my answers to the same questions. Now, here's the key to this lesson to get the most out of it is to write your answers to these questions in the comments down below. This gives me a chance to correct your mistakes for you. Then take those fixed answers and practice the video again. Practicing the video again, talking to me, with the correct answers will help you next time begin to craft, to build, to form more natural sentences. And as you can see with the comments from my students, it's, it's amazing how much better their, their answers have become. The mistakes have dropped down a lot. And it's all because English conversation is mostly pattern work. We change some key details, but the vast majority of conversation is a pattern and you can continue to use the patterns over and over with different topics. So, okay. I've been talking a lot. Now, if you hear some background talking, it is, um, there's like a convention next door and they are so loud. It's coming through three classrooms into my classroom. And it just, there might be a small echo where you can hear them talking. So sorry, but <laughs> I can't get them to be quiet. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so, if you like my lessons, hit the like button. I really appreciate that. That helps me out. And if you're new here, subscribe. I have new lessons every single day. That way you can practice learning at home. Even if you're alone, you have someone to talk to. All right, let's get started. Question number one, where would you most like to travel in space? Now this, here's the key thing here. This is assuming that you could go there instantly and you wouldn't have a problem with the conditions there. Like it wouldn't be too hot or too cold to live. So assuming you could go there and survive, where would you most like to travel in space? Hmm. I'm excited to see the answers down there because some people are going to go to strange places and I'm curious which place they decide to go because space is infinite basically and you could go anywhere. Okay. Do you think space tourism, tourism will be big in the near future? Why or why not? It sounds like they're right next to me, doesn't it? <laughs> they, I swear, they're through that wall, through the classroom, through another classroom, into a big room. They are far away from me, but they're just so loud. <sighs> okay. 
All right, so I, yeah, space tourism is an interesting thing for sure. Question number three, what is the most interesting thing you know about space? Mm. Mm. Hmm. I think space is so cool. So uh, there's all kinds of interesting things to learn and we haven't even come close to discovering anything about space. So it's fascinating. What is the most important thing that astronomers need to be researching? Astronomers, right? Astronomers, the people who look at the stars. What is the most important thing they need to be researching? I have a feeling that my Korean students are going to be laughing listening to these these uh, these aloe ladies. It's it's like a multi-level marketing thing where they sell products and they get rewards and stuff. So uh, there's like an army of old women next door trying to get free products to sell to their friends and family. And it's all made from the um, aloe plant. It's silly, but whatever. <laughs> now, the last question. Would you ever join a mission to colonize colonize another planet if it meant you could never come back to Earth? I'll say that one more time. Would you join a mission to colonize another planet if it meant you would never come back to Earth? Hmm. I think a large number of, of people would actually do it because it's a chance to escape whatever you have here if you don't like it. So there's a lot of people who don't like what's going on with their life. Like these ladies. <laughs> Oh, wow. And I'm going to try and film a couple of lessons today. So great job, Chris. <laughs> okay. I'm going to answer the questions now. Where would you like to go? Uh, sorry. Where would you most like to travel in space? Assuming you could survive. I would like to go to, man, I would really like to go to a planet that's never been discovered, but since I can't give you a name for that, I'll pick something that we know. I would love to go to the moon because I want to see what's on the back side of it. I think it's fascinating that when we look up at the moon, we only see one, one fixed face of the moon. It doesn't change. So I would love to see what's on the dark side. But my real, real thing would be to go to a completely new planet that we know very little about to see if Maybe there's something there. Do you think space tourism will be big in the near future? Why or why not? For me, I think that space tourism will become big if the cost drops. Right now it's too expensive. And if we ever manage to have businesses develop mining on other planets and, and outside of our our planet on the different planets and maybe the comets that are flying around our solar system. If we ever get companies that are able to build the technology to do this, then the cost for space tourism will drop a lot. And then there would be somewhere to go because unless we have a colony on another planet, where would the space tourism go? But if we have these, these stations out there for the mining companies that we could dock and get new supplies on the ship and come back, 
the, the tourism, the trips could be longer and there would be more things you could see. It'd be more like sightseeing kind of thing. So right now it, it seems like space tourism is just go up, yay, all right, we're done kind of thing. And it's just a short thing. It, but if we can get investments from private companies into, the, into space, there's a chance that the cost will come lower. And if that's the case, if the cost drops, space tourism will be much larger, especially if we create colonies and the chance to travel to other colonies. But that's, that's some serious technology that we don't have right now, or at least technology we don't have in the mainstream, in, in the here and now, in the common area where other companies could use it. Maybe in the private, area there's technology that could do this but we don't have it it's not developed enough uh, what is the most interesting thing that you know about space hmm i think for me black holes are absolutely fascinating because um just just the way that they they take in matter because everything's made of matter the way they suck in matter you don't go in into the hole it's you start to spread out and become like spaghetti it's scary and fascinating so i think i think i think black holes are very very cool and very 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 scary really scary what is the most important thing for astronomers to be researching? Sadly, and this is going to be the, the news article, it's going to be related to the news article video, but sadly it seems like we as a species, as humans, are not really concerned yet about the health of our planet. So I think that, you know, we are rapidly killing our planet to an, an extent we're doing a lot a lot of damage in in developing areas and developed areas especially with air pollution and what it's doing to us so i think astronomers need to be researching different places for us to live as a, as a species where we could survive the conditions astronomers need to be finding alternate earth kind of thing. They need to be finding new planets where we could colonize. I think that is, um, for us to survive as a species in the long distance future, it is completely, completely necessary that they start to do that and find locations. Because once we find a location, we can develop the technology to travel in a lifetime or in a generation to this area. And we could start to begin to work out how to get there. Would you ever join a mission to colonize another planet if it meant never returning to Earth? Hmm. Does this mean that I get to bring my family? Does this mean if I was alone by myself? Uh, with my family, I don't think I would go to colonize another planet unless it was a very very nice planet not like mars i wouldn't bring my family to mars per se because the conditions are very rough yes we could survive maybe but everything would be enclosed it wouldn't be the same existence that we have on earth so if we were going to colonize another you know another planet that resembled earth that was equal or better or close yeah i would i would bring my family there for a chance to to just a chance to see what could happen. I think that would be awesome for the family and also healthier for our future generations. If I was alone, if I was a single person, absolutely I would go on a colonizing mission because colonizing other planets is something that I think is extremely important for the survival of humanity. And I think that I would like to be a part of that if I could, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm just an English teacher in South Korea right now, eventually in China, and I can't see any reason why my body would take up the position of someone with extremely well-balanced skills for 
that kind of an endeavor, that kind of an adventure. So dreams, but hey, these are hypothetical. These are conversations. And in conversations, you can talk about anything. You can use your imagination to talk about things that you would love to do. And you can talk about reality and the things that are here and now. So if you liked this lesson, hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. It's free. All of my lessons are free. I hope you enjoyed it today. And I'm excited to see your answers about space because space is fun. They're gone. It's quiet. They're gone. Yes. And I'll see you goodbye.